Oh, hi. Good morning. Uh, as many of you already know, my name is Jamie Goldman, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and what I do here at Nova Southeastern University. I am a reference librarian, and I work in the Oceanography Library, which is upstairs, and I will show you a little while on our tours. I have a background in both marine biology and in library sciences. I actually got my master's degree in marine biology and coastal zone management from this university, and then I got my master's in library science from Florida State University, which is where Renee was from. So one of the things I do as a librarian is I gather resources. So this session I'm going to show you a database that I made for you of great data management resources. So if you guys are back in the course, if you could scroll down to topic four, data management resources, I'm going to start here on the book. So what I did is I gathered about 50 or so really great data management resources for you guys. They're all links to web resources. I hope they are easily accessible from all of your IP addresses, addresses when you get home. So if you click on, if you go back and you can click on the data management resources database, you'll see them all listed there. So let me go back down. And that's this guy with the blue symbol. So there's five pages of resources right now, and what I'm going to do is highlight a few of my favorites, and then I'm going to have you do two activities. The first is I'm going to have you explore the database and leave a comment on a resource you either like or don't like. That's okay as well. And then I'm going to show you how to upload resources as well. The goal here is to build a knowledge base of great data management resources. They can be repositories that we've seen. They can be toolkits. They can be guides. We've seen a lot of really great guides this week already. Um, anything that you feel would grow the knowledge base that you can refer back to later for your, for your work. So I'm just going to go through a few really quick, kind of highlight my favorites and some other ones that the presenters think are really valuable. One of them is the RDA, the Research Data Alliance. Uh, this is a wonderful organization and group, and their focus is on research data, standards, organizations. Um, you become a member of this group. You can find out about news and events learn more about the group over here. This is a really great resource that I highly recommend that you explore when you have some time. And I also included some groups that you can join. This one was recommended by another data manager. It's called Force 11. And it includes community groups, resources, news and events, even conferences as well. So what I'm finding with most of the group resources that I'm including in this database is that you can sign up for listservs or um, blogs or even become parts of the groups. And what are, what's really great about most of these organizations is it's all about resource sharing. So if you have a question about creating a data management plan or you're stuck at a certain point, I find that you can send out an email to a listserv and you'll get really great feedback. Um, this one here is from the University of Edinburgh, and I, you guys have probably heard several times this week a uh, reference to another online course called Mantra, and I did want to show you how to find that course as well. And they also have access to data repositories and open data on the web. But I know, how many, show of hands, how many people have done this, this Mantra course? One. So I did want to show you that because that term has come up several times this week. And of course, the IOD has the wonderful Ocean Data Portal. And you can get some background, find out what kind of repositories are included in the portal. And it's a pretty robust one too. It's a really great resource. And what I tried to do a little bit when I entered the resources is not only include 
the name of the site, but also just a quick little description, a sentence or two as well. So that's something when you add to this database, I'm gonna ask that you not only include the name, but just a brief description. Is this a listserv? Um, is this a data repository? Is this just an online guide to open data? Just a quick little blurb. So when somebody going through the database um, isn't sure what a certain site may be, they get a good idea before clicking on it. Well, this one's fairly new. This is Mendeley Data. Uh, you may have heard of Mendeley. It's an open access citation management software that you can access online. They actually have a data portal now. So you can upload, cite, and share your data. And I haven't had a chance to explore this yet, but I know a couple of institutions that cannot afford to pay for software for a d uh, data or informational repository are looking into this Mendeley Data right now is really great. So you can sign up for free there. I'm just going to show a few more and then I'm going to let you guys play around in the database. Uh, this data in brief is really nice. It's actually an open access journal um, about publishing data articles. And as many of you may know, it's oftentimes difficult to find access to journal articles that may help guide you, especially scholarly articles. So I'm really pleased to find that there is a data publication that is open access. So when you go to Data in Brief, explore around. But if you want to see the articles, just click on View Articles. And it will open open access in ScienceDirect. So you don't have to have a subscription to this database. It's really wonderful. A uh, big one, the DMP tool that you can download and build your own data management plan. I've talked to a few institutions and individuals who have used this tool. You do need fairly good tech support um, to set this up, but it is free and open access, and they do also provide training and webinars. So you can kind of evaluate it before you decide to jump in and start using this to create your data management plans for your different institutions. And they also have a lot of helpful resources as well, just on data management in general, not only their tool. And then I have a lot of guides as well in the database, but I'm just going to show you one from Boston College. And this one includes information on their, how they did with their DMP tool. But you'll also see there's links for best practices in data management, providing some guidelines, some standards. So I've included, I think, about six guides that you can find from different universities and institutions that are fairly robust and helpful. And Linda showed one this morning that's really good from University of Central Florida, I believe. So that would be an excellent one to add to our database. And the last one is an example of a listserv that you can sign up for. This was also recommended to me, the Research Data Man listserv. I signed up this week. It was fairly easy. So if you click on that, it gives you instructions on how to sign up for that listserv. I haven't had anything come across it yet, but from what I understand, it sends out um, new alerts about new developments in data management. And also, I, I believe it's also a collaboration where if you have questions about data management plans, that you'll get some feedback from the group. So those are just the ones that I was going to highlight. I'm not going to go through <laughs> the whole database for you today. But I'd like to take some time for you guys to explore the database and get comfortable with it, because I really want this to be a tool that you can always refer back to within the course and use. So we're going to do two activities. The first one is look at the resources in the database. Click on one, explore it. It can be one that I already showed you, explore it further or it can be one that you haven't, that I haven't demonstrated today. And I'm going to show you how to leave a comment. Uh, what did you like about the resource? What did you not like? Did you find something really interesting? Would you recommend it to others? Just something so others who haven't explored it yet might know why this is a great resource. So I'm going to show you how to leave a comment really quick and then give you a few minutes to do the same yourself. So if you go to the database, and let me know if anybody needs help getting back to it that's listed under topic four. And yours is going to look a little bit different from mine because I'm logged in as an admin. But under every source, if you click on the source, it's just going to open it up. 
to the URL link. But under every source, you should see a little magnifying glass. And if you hover over it, it says more. And that's going to give you the option to leave a comment. So there's this little comment link here. Just type whatever you think about that resource after you explore it. And then click. be sure to click on Save Comment. So I'm going to give you about five to ten minutes, play around with a few of the resources. I'm just going to kind of watch and see as the comments come in. And then I'm going to have you guys also upload your own uh, resource as well. So go ahead and explore the database and try leaving a comment.